we have for the first time official word that Lucasfilm is on work for the Obi-Wan standalone movie. Oh my god, we gotta talk about it! Bam, 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 bam. What is up, YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. Guys, if you're anything like me, you're all over the web, all the time, looking for Star Wars information, checking Reddit, checking out the YouTubes, checking out the Twitter, StarWarsNewsNet.com, MakingStarWars.net, all of the great aggregators of sites out there, podcasts, this, that, and the other. There's been rumors for a long time that Obi-Wan was going to be the standalone film, that third mysterious standalone film, right, that they had on their slate for, I think it's 2020, actually, but um, the rumors were that that was going to be Obi-Wan for a long time. That is what respectable Star Wars uh, fans had thought, but now a report from The Hollywood Reporter is the first official word that we are going to get an Obi-Wan standalone movie. And it is apparently in the works. I'm going to read a little bit from the report right here. It says, Oscar-nominated filmmaker Stephen Daldry is in early talks for the film, which would center on the Jedi Master, who has been played by both Alec Guinness and Ewan McGregor. Apparently, this guy's Oscar-nominated director. Uh, he did Billy Elliot and The Hours. Um, I really haven't seen any of those movies, so I can't speak to that. But apparently there's no script. So what's happening here is they're getting this guy to come in and really kind of have total control of the production. They're going to get him to oversee the development of the writing with people at Lucasfilm. And it's really unknown if Ewan McGregor would reprise his role. But, I mean, come on. That's a no-brainer. Get Ewan in there. I mean, the dude wants to do it. His answers to certain questions around the time of The Force Awakens were what started this whole rumored mill in the first place. The way he answered those questions. Oh, well, I'd say it between um, Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope, I, I think there's a story there. Well, so do I, Ewing. Of course there's a story there. It's been delved into in Rebels. It's been delved into in the comics. I mean, come on. We know there's a story there. And it was also reported earlier in the year that the reason they are taking their time with the Obi-Wan film is that he has an important role to play in episode 8 and possibly in episode 9. So if they were working that out, then it makes sense that if they have that figured out, because we know Trevorrow's kind of getting his script reworked right now, um, The Last Jedi is essentially done, and they're working on 9, so they probably have it figured out as far as what Obi-Wan will be doing in those movies, so now they're free to work on this. It's also telling that he's going to be working with Lucasfilm Brass to develop the project. This this has two things that... that pop into my head. First of all, and I'm sorry, I'm just a little excited when I'm talking about this story, but first of all, it really solidifies that, yes, I think that Obi-Wan has something to do with the larger fabric of what they're doing in this current saga. That's why they need someone at Lucasfilm to help him out with creating this entire movie. Also, it speaks to a shift in the way Lucasfilm is approaching these films, and after the Han Solo drama, after what they did with Rogue One, this makes a lot of sense. They're probably going to invite somebody in and be like, hey, look, you know what's going on. We're having trouble playing nice with people. Are you someone we can play nice with? Here's what we're going to have to do to make this film the way we want it done. Will you play ball? Man, thank God. Because that is what they need to do to make sure that these movies get made the way they want to and that they don't have this bad PR fallout. I've said it a million times on the Rebel Scum podcast, on this channel, on different shows. I think Lucasfilm knows what they're doing. I trust Kathy Kennedy in the situation with Han Solo. I trust her. In the situation with Gareth Edwards, I trust her. But the PR problem is real. There are people out there that hate The Force Awakens, guys. There are people out there that hate The Force Awakens and they hate Rogue One. You think those kind of people are going to tell people that never been introduced to Star Wars to go see Star Wars? No. So even though it's the evergreen, even though Star Wars is making all of this money, you still got to play PR nice. You can't piss people off. And the bad PR that's created when you have to fire directors is real. So it shows that they are making smart moves when tying that up. But this is the official report, guys. This is kind of going to replace the Boba Fett 
film that was on the slate, which of course Josh Trank was on. Um, but yeah, it's an official real report. I just wanted to bring this to you guys, talk about what it means. You know, there's obviously, like I said, the rumors about him playing a role in the saga films. This is all pretty exciting, pretty fresh uh, stuff. Not too much to glean from this article, but it's a real thing. All of our rumors and speculating have been rewarded. We do think I mean, it's it's right there. It's 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 in the writing, man. They're working on the Obi Wan film, so this means, well, you know what it means. So let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you think about this news? Are you hype on it? What do you think? What's the direction they should go in with the Obi Wan film? I mean, it's a no brainer to get you and McGregor, right? I mean, come on, it's a no brainer for that. And more important than anything, what do you think his role is gonna be? in the saga films because a lot of people heard when they heard that rumor they were like well wait a minute does that mean he is Ray's parent or grandparent is that what they mean by that because that's a big rumor in the community guys that she's a Kenobi and that shit would be dope that would be hype as hell so do you think that's what's going on here let's talk about this in the comment section guys i'm super excited if you like star wars news this should go without saying subscribe to this channel um tomorrow i'm going over all the stuff with defenders it's a defenders day tomorrow follow me on instagram by the way if you want to kind of watch defenders with me so to speak i'll start early in the morning i'll make an announcement about that on my instagram story so check that out i'm super hyped man the obi-wan film is real oh my god yes so, as I always say, I hope you are having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya!